The biggest religion in all the world is Roman Catholicism. In fact, more than half of people that claim to be Christian say that they are Catholic. This is a big problem, guys, because the Roman Catholic Church is not in the truth. There may be some Catholics there that hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and who are coming out of dead religion. But at large, the Roman Catholic Church itself is not true Christianity. We know that they have many problems, how they have deviated away from the truth. They worship idols, for example. They deify saints. They pray to saints. They pray to Mary. It's huge idolatry. But on top of that, the very essence of their prayer life is a fraud. I want to read to you what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6 in regards to this. When you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut the door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them. For your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. False religion says that if you repeat a prayer enough, it will be answered. If you confess to a priest, you will be forgiven. That if you pay a certain amount of money, you can escape hell. That if you pay your tithes, you'll be right with God and with the community. This sort of religion offers a lie to those who are already deceived. And it's sad that more than half of Christians are deceived. Don't be deceived like the Catholics who put their faith in a huge lie, who don't have a genuine prayer life, and who worship idols. Come out and be separate. Don't touch anything that is unclean. And start a genuine relationship with your Father in heaven. He cares for your soul. He doesn't want you to enter into a religious act just of traditions that the Catholic Church has done for a long time. He wants you to enter into a genuine relationship with him. So pray to Jesus Christ. Get to know him for real. And let him lead you out of dead religion. May the grace of Jesus be with you.